Hello friends, let's look at the Selenium ID features. So this is the script we had recorded in the last session. You use these and additional scripts to learn Selenium ID features. Let's start from base URL. This is the URL from that the test will start at. All open commands will be related to the base URL unless a full path is inserted in the open command. Now click on the first line of the script which will execute open command and navigate to the login page URL. This is green so this command executed successfully. Now we look at speed slider. This is the slider under the fast and slow labels on the screen. This controls how fast your test case runs. Let's run the script with max speed and minimum speed. So you can see the difference of execution speed. Now look at to the single test run button. This will run the currently selected test or run a single test in the IDE. Let's try it. So this can do only one test run. So now we look at to run all button. Run all the test in the ID or it will uh, runs the entire test suite when a test suite with multiple test cases is loaded. To understand this we need to create few more test cases. So for that we are going to list of test cases pen. Now right click and select new test case option and now we click on record button of selenium id and now we go to this url and log into the wordpress Once login is done, we click on the posts on the left menu and click on categories. Enter the name of the category. And now click on add new category button. Same way we create one more test case. For that we are going to list of test case pen. Right click and select new test case option. And now we again click on record button. We go to this URL and login to the WordPress.
click on posts on the left menu click on tags now enter tag name and click on add new tag so now we have three test cases so before we moving forward we are going to save this test suite and all three test cases for that go to file menu and select save test suite which will first ask to save all three test cases we save all test cases with a unique name and at the end we save a test suit so all individual test cases save as a html file while a test suit save as a file with no extension so now we are going to run all test cases using run all button before that we need to edit few values in tag and category test case because in wordpress duplicate tag or category is not allowed All test cases are green means our test suite with will run without fail we can see total of pass and fail test cases count below the list of test cases pane so now we look at to the pause and resume button option pause will pauses a test that is currently running or allows stopping and restarting of a running test case to see how this works we need to run the script first so before that we slow down the script execution and click on run current test case button now you can see this pause is enabled so we can click on that to see how it pauses the execution so we click on pause button which is changed to resume option so let's click on this to know how resume is work resume will start as a test execution again and now we look at to the step button step which steps through the test once it has paused this allows you to step through the test
test case by running it one command at a time which is used for debugging test cases. To see how this work we need to add breakpoint. For that select step from where you want to start debugging using step button. Right click on that select toggle breakpoint option. A pose image is add in that test step. Means test will stop here and user can use step button to start debugging. Let's run script now. See execution is stop here and this line changes color to yellow. Now we can use this tap button. We step through all other test steps. So all test steps are working now.